Welcome to Stock Tank Pool Authority. Over four years ago, we installed our stock tank pool and then brought you the first stock tank pool DIY on our blog, Hey Wanderer. Since then, we have built decks, benches, tried out new products, created stock tank pool stickers, and installed numerous stock tank pools for people all over the South and Southeast. We provide tips, tutorials, and tours on our website and curate lots of inspiration over on our Instagram account, at Stock Tank Pool. Today we're going to show you how to install the Intex 1000 gallons per hour pool pump on your stock tank pool. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest stock tank pool info. Let's get started. First, let's check out what's inside. First, there are two long pieces. We're gonna have a bag of things. So we've got the pump and then it comes with a manual. I would like to point out that this is very helpful. If you have any questions, you can just look through here. There's a troubleshooting guide. Um, it shows you exactly how to hook things up. It's just a great resource right inside of your pump. This has a filter in it, unless you got a pump that specified it didn't come with this. So the main difference between this pump and the one that we used previously, um, the one that we actually have on our pool is the 2500, which means it filters 2500 gallons of water per hour. Uh, this is the 1000. This summer we installed a lot of 1500 pumps and then we had to move to one of the 1000s. Since we've used these on a lot of installs all summer, I'm just going to show you what we've been doing. One other thing that is different about this pump from the 1500 or the 2500 is that they both have timers on them. And this one does not have a timer, which means you will manually have to turn this on and off or plug it in and out um, just to get it to run. So it's manual, not automatic timing. In order to install this onto your pool, you're gonna need two things. You're either going to need to get two of these kits uh, on Amazon right now these are very affordable in the height of summer when everything is sold out this is kind of expensive but right now you can get one for 20 bucks I believe on Amazon and in the middle of the summer that can go up to $80 so probably a good idea to buy these parts now um, set your pull up now while the prices are a little lower um, so you'll need two of these if for some reason uh, the prices have gone up and you really only want to buy one of these there is a part this guy that you can use as the outlet like the thing that pumps the water back into the pool and I will show you the alterations you'll need to do to use this but I'm going to install two of these so I'm gonna open this up and show you what's inside all right so in this kit um, I actually have a video specifically about what's in here and how to use it but I'm gonna show you again so this kit comes with two of these guys, two of these guys. You will not need these. It comes with this thing, let's see, okay, and this. So it comes with one plunger valve. So you will use this as your inlet plunger valve included um, you'll take this guy once it's installed and put it in this hole and then for the outlet we're actually going to take from a second kit going to actually on the second kit we're going to take this exact piece twist this off okay and it'll look like this and we're gonna take one of these and screw it on. Now you will have two pieces, one an inlet and one an outlet. And you'll actually, um, this will go on both pieces. The bottom one, I'm just showing these, you this assembled, but we're actually gonna take all of this apart to it, uh, install it. The one that goes on the bottom, the drain, the outlet, you're gonna put this black cap okay all right and then for installation's sake I'm just going to take everything apart so 
take the plunger valve off, make sure that that little gasket is there. Take, I forgot what this is called. This is the air jet valve. Take the air jet valve off of both of them. And when I go to install it, I will take this stuff off and show you how to use it. But this is how we have it. Let's talk about this package that comes with it. So most of the stuff in here, you're not gonna use. Um, it is very specific if you're going to try to attach these parts to your pool, because basically it's this stuff, it's, very, it's smooth. And when you stick that through your pool, there's nothing to grab onto this. You can't twist anything on. Um, you can, some people have made it work, but it's very rigged up. So the easiest thing is to use these guys and kind of forget about most of these parts. You will need these ties, these guys. You'll need four of those. And basically everything else in here is useless to you except these. One other thing you're going to need to buy are these guys. And you just get them in a set of two. You'll need both of those. It is going to make these hoses where they can fit onto these bigger pieces. So all you're going to do is take your piece. This is what one of them looks like. And I'm going to get this hose on there and just make sure that the gasket is not, uh, make sure it's lined up perfectly because it'll kind of get stuck sometimes. Push it on. And then make sure you keep that part to the end. We're going to take one of these guys and connect them. So you're just putting it right, right over the spot right here. I'm just gonna cl clip it together and then turn this knob to tighten. Oh wait. That's what that looks like. And you need to do it on one end of both hoses. There we go. So these are two different hoses. One of these on each end. The other end of the hose is gonna go straight to the pump, but we'll do that right at the end. Okay, if when you go to buy your parts, this kit is a little too pricey, there is another option. You will have to buy one of these, and then instead of um, using this as the part on top you can use this guy and I'm just gonna show you how to use this really quickly I'm not installing this pool with this but I have installed a lot of these and it works perfectly fine so first what you're going to do is take push this off and take everything off except for one of these rubber washers. These you aren't going to need. Um, I'm going to put this back on and then you're, this is what you are going to attach to the plunger valve. So you'll install this just like you're going to install this. The only difference is you'll use a little bit smaller hole saw. You can use the same size hole saw as this It'll just have to be lined up really perfectly because the hole's just a little bit bigger than this guy. Um, I'll look at the one I have and show you what size it is in a second, but this is gonna hook up to the plunger valve. So when this goes through your pool, there's actually not enough threads here to fill up this entire space. So you're going to have to get a rubber washer to put in there. And these are the two, I've used both of these, they both work. These are from Ace Hardware. What I've been doing is I'll put some silicone just right on the inside there, put this inside, and then this will go perfectly on there, and everything will be good. And that is what that looks like. This is the whole saw I used for this top piece. This is too small for this, so you either can use this one on top and the bigger hole saw on bottom or you can use this on both and just kind of be careful on the top but this size is two and a half inches um, this one is I believe two and three fourths inches so it's only a little bit different but it is helpful so
So that is the size you'll want to get for this piece. Now, I will no longer be talking about this piece. I'm going to use specifically Intex pieces for the insulation and let's get to that already. All right, we are installing this on this eight by three by two stock tank. Uh, you can use this on even a 10 foot tank. Uh, the 1000 pump pumps a thousand gallons of water per hour. That's more than what you need for any size up to 10 feet. I'm gonna be installing the pump back here and so I'll be putting the holes back here. So I'll be cutting one hole and installing it in this center section. I'm not gonna put it up here because I do want it to be underwater. And then the other one, I'm gonna go all the way over onto this side and do it down at the very bottom because that is, you know, the drain that pulls all the water out of the pool. And the pump will sit here -ish. The plug is actually back this way and it has a GFCI on it, so it's a perfect place. Let me show you how I do the holes. To install, we are going to need a drill. I'm using a hammer drill, it makes it a lot easier, but you can use a regular old little drill. Uh, it will work, it just takes some time. You're gonna need a drill bit. You are going to need your hole saw. This is the two and three fourths inch. You're also going to need a Sharpie. And then you're also going to need your outlet and inlet pieces because we're going to use those to mark where the holes are getting cut. And don't forget to use your gloves and your safety goggles. Play it safe, guys. There will be a lot of metal pieces flying around. First thing I'm gonna do is attach that drill bit. This is just to make it easier for the hole saw to go through. And I'm going to be installing this piece here, so I'm just going to actually take this off and I'm going to put it wherever I want it to go. So I want it to go on the highest part of this little section and I will take the Sharpie and just push it all the way through the middle there. Make a dot. And then I'll use the Sharpie to make an X so you can see, see it a little better. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And my safety goggles. I'm gonna take this drill, drill a hole right through the middle of that X. going to now take the hole saw, get it on there nice and tight, all right and make sure you still have your gloves on this will be hot and sharp so if it comes off like this, you can just go back and forth until that comes off, just like that. And then be careful, but you want to dispose of this. At this point, you could take a metal file and file this down. I'm just going to repeat this process down here for this other part. Top off, get it right, get your Sharpie in there. install your part let's put it back together first of all and then we're going to take this nut off of here and also we're going to take off this washer we are going to use both of these but first we're going to put some silicone down um, I will say that on our first ever video we used two of these one on the inside and one on the outside and we have since figured out that you don't really have to use the one on the outside um, just using silicone and this on the inside 
is great and it's worked. There are no leaks on any of the pools we've done. So, get our silicone. Uh, this is the one I use on every pool. I'm gonna go ahead and this, this with the grate, this is the one that goes on bottom. So, with this part on, and all of these parts off, we're gonna go ahead and apply some silicone right around this edge, or this corner, whatever you wanna call it. Um, there are some people who would tell you that this is unnecessary, but you, you know, this costs about three bucks, and it just really is a security thing that you are not gonna have any leaks. So, go ahead and put it on there. And then just like one little bead all the way around. Put your washer back on. And then we're going to go ahead and put another line of it right on top of that washer in the corner. Uh, just kind of overlapping this opening where the washer doesn't go right up against your piece. All right just like this and then with this part up I'm gonna go on the inside of the pool and push this through this hole. This is gonna go down here in the pool. Like that. You want that hole to be right on the top because uh, you don't want anything to drip out of that. Um, if you see any more holes um, like I can see right here that the silicone isn't touching the edge um, just doesn't seem like there's enough right there, so I'm gonna put a tiny bit more, but you really may not have to if you had put a thick enough layer. Go ahead and there we go. Alright. <laughs> there we go. I did that a little messily, but we're gonna take our nut. you hold this piece just right in place so that that is facing straight up. All right. And then this silicone actually only needs to cure for 30 minutes before you can put water in your pool. So I will wait 30 minutes from when I just installed this to start filling the pool up and I'll move on to the other piece to install. Um, you could wait 24 hours if you wanted to. The next step is to attach your plunger valve. So first I want to make sure that this is, this will be loose sometimes. Make sure that's just screwed on tight and make sure that you have this gasket right here. Okay. And since the ground is right here. We don't want to install this like this because the pipe, uh, I mean the hose has to go on right here. So I'm going to install this sideways, like parallel to the ground. Pull this part back and line the gasket up perfectly with this piece. And just hold this plunger valve exactly where you want it. If you have it like this, it will, and you tighten this on, it'll stay like that. Then I'll just hold this in place while I twist this on. Okay, so we're going to put this in. Screw it on. Um, if you do put a washer on the outside of the pool, this part will be too far out and you won't be able to put this on there. And then make sure that you take the black cap on the um, the bottom piece put that black cap on the top piece doesn't have to be on and honestly it shouldn't be on the top piece but this bottom one we don't want any air coming out of there before we move on to installing the other part we're gonna go ahead and take one of these hoses that we put together earlier and we're going to attach it right here so we're going to kind of wiggle this on and then tighten this. And then this whole part 
is done. Here we are going to just repeat the same process. We're um, going to reassemble this piece. And this is the part that blows the water back into the bowl. And we're going to take the nut off. Take the washer off and do the silicone. Silicone on. Washer. Silicone. Add more silicone if needed. Twist on the nut. Attach the plunger valve. Attach the hose. And put the air valve on. You can see that there are some, a uh, lock and unlock and with some arrows so if I turn it this way it'll unlock it um, and that just literally means that it unlocks the water flow so if you lock it then none of this water is going to flow out into here I have um, the plunger valve put to lock and I will wait to unlock both of these until the water is filled up all that's left to do is attach both of these hoses to the filter pump it is important that you put the hoses on the right piece right here, so I'm going to tell you what I, <laughs> the little trick I use every time I install this pump. Um, whatever piece is higher up, that hose is going to go on the bottom. And then the one that is lower down is going to go right here on the top. Okay, on here, make sure that the gasket is lined up with this little divot it in tighten this around it take the other one put it on top and you'll just look right here how that uh, gasket is stuck um, you do not want that that will cause a leak so we just kind of Wiggle it around till it's straight and attach. And that's it. As far as installing the pump to your suck tank pool, that's all you do. Um, I am going to start filling with water. Then I'm going to come back, show you how to twist these um, plunger valves to get the water going right and turn it on. The first time turning it on sometimes can be a little weird, so let me get the water going and we'll come back when it's almost full and talk about this. All right, so it filled up very fast, very different than um, the big old eight foot round sock tanks. Um, now I'm gonna show you to turn the pump on. I see that there's a leak. That's the first thing I saw right there. And I can see it's coming from this right here. So first thing to do is to just tighten it. All right, no more leak. Uh, if you do see any leakage from any of these dark gray things, all you have to do is twist that stuff. Just tighten it up. Um, it's not, not a big deal if there's a little leak from that uh, area the only thing that would be a big deal is if it was leaking from here, which it's not and if you followed my instructions It shouldn't be doing that before we plug this guy in um, This is actually gonna be plugged in all the way over there not right here right by the pool, but um, Before we do that because when you plug it in it turns it on we're going to want to unlock the plunger valve So the first thing you do is unlock the one that is lower You can hear um, you can hear the water just kind of fill. You can see it just kind of filled up right there. And it's kind of going a little more. 
Then we're gonna go to the other side and do that one. The one that's higher up, you do that one last. That's just gonna help with airflow. And there you go, it's already bubbling out and we don't even have it plugged in yet. So let it do that. Um, once it stops bubbling, we're gonna plug it in. And the bubbling is just the water flowing into the hoses. Great, it's done. Let's grab our plug and plug it in. It's already going and it's not flowing through yet so you gotta let the air out. Let it out, it's coming out now. Go ahead and tighten this back up. Kinda makes this back and forth noise for a second. It'll get going solid in a second here. Alright, that's a normal sound. There we go. Um, it's kinda hard to tell by looking because it kind of looks like nothing's happening as you can see from this part you see the water is bubbling up a little there that's the constant stream that is now coming out um, just do a little feel test and yeah I can feel it coming out this is now complete so I hope this was helpful um, I've had a lot of questions about how to set that little pump up because our original tutorial is with a way bigger pump but rest assured this will work on any pool that you have the only difference is just that it doesn't have an automatic timer so you'll have to unplug it and plug it back in uh, to start it and stop it and uh, it'll do the job though if for some reason you want to change this pump out you get your hands on a big one um, or you just really want to pay that high premium price that is out there right now because you want the, t the uh, timer, all you have to do is close these off, lock them, unscrew these hoses, and then you just replace, leave this whole thing on there and put the new hose attached right there. And that's it. You can press the yellow button and that will turn the pool off if you want to leave it plugged in and then the red button will start it again.